I'm drawn to an analogue process primarily because I'm drawn to a physical material experience. The light touches the film, my hand processes the film. It almost feels like you're still working with the original moment. Well, the main camera I use is a medium format Pentax. It's a classic fashion photographer's camera. Secretly, I love this idea that it's a portrait camera and I'm taking portraits, if you like, of the landscape. And in the same way that a portrait photographer quite often is interested in the story of a person and showing something of that personality, I'm quite interested in the place that I'm in, you know, what that story is. So I've been visiting this particular alpine landscape for a long time, taking photographs across Kosciuszko National Park and Alpine National Park, um, New South Wales in Victoria. These incredibly special high plains, alpine bogs and associated fens are ecologically endangered. The history of usage of these national parks is one that's changing quite rapidly. National parks are sort of attempting to um, hold, if you like, to fix the landscape as well in a certain um, point in time. But there's environmental pressures, commercial pressures, expansion, recreation. So they're spaces that are on the threshold of change. And my interest in returning is so that I can document some of that change potentially. And hopefully there's a valuable archive of photographs that show this landscape on the edge. And I think we really are on the edge of very drastic changes. I'm interested in representations of Australian landscape. If you look at the history of landscape photography in Australia, it was very often utilised to document wide open spaces and this notion of wilderness, which it absolutely was not. That's quite a, a troubled logic that early photography was documenting so-called wilderness in Australia. What is also a part of that history is it's a history of colonisation. So the stories are there in the landscape and then there's my story of my experience engaging with that space as well. So reaching back to the history of photography, they were testing various chemicals, different types of chemistry, and plants were used in various ways. And I've connected that with my own experimentation, if you like. So I'm using a different type of film. It's an orthochromatic film to take direct impressions of the very specific plant life that happens to be there in the alpine high plain areas. And then back in the dark room, I'm fixing to a degree, fixing these negatives. And so what you see in the exhibition are direct imprints in some cases. And then in other cases, I've re-exposed the negatives and worked them in a slightly different way in the dark room. Fixing intrigues me, this idea of fixing the image the idea of fixing a viewpoint in the landscape. It reminds me of lookouts in national parks. The road leads you to the fixed location. And so for me, this idea of having an image that is still unfixed, that really intrigues me and excites me. And I think this work speaks to that because they will continue to change over time. There's a lovely analogy there with the experience of the landscape and continuation of a story over time. History is changing depending on the viewpoint at a particular moment in time.